Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast, Book of the Loops. In between episodes, I have done some exploring of the area north of Athens. Um, I came across a couple of places that I wanted to um, save for on camera. This place, because we did run across the uh, cultist at the Temple of Hephaestus. Um, so I thought that maybe there might be another one here, possibly, and I didn't want to accidentally kill him off camera. So I decided to just, uh, you know, leave that, these two areas unexplored. This one especially because it's a uh, sacred tomb or whatever. Um, yeah. So in between episodes, I actually did some more, um, I guess, bounty stuff. Some of the more weekly quests and whatnot. And I've done some of the exploring of some of these um, shipwrecks. Um, I did get something of note. And that is the octopus figurehead, which we obviously obviously need to put on our Adrestia, so that's what we got instead of a stupid lion. Get out of here, lion. Lions don't swim. Octopi, octopi however, definitely good swimmers. Or, I don't know, maybe. Anyways, <laughs> um, what we're gonna do today is do a little bit of exploring, because there's still that uh, area south of Attica that is completely unknown to us. And I kind of want to make sure that... Um, we're not missing out on any uh, cultists and whatnot. Can I actually assassinate this guy? Hey, buddy. No, I can't. All right, well, fine. Be that way. Be a jerk. Because I believe one of the hints for um, one of the cultists that are part of the uh, eye branch or whatever, the eye of the cult, um, I believe one of the, the hint, sorry, says that he owns a quarry in Attica somewhere. Now, we did come across the other quarry, um, and I'm pretty sure I explored the entire thing, yet nothing was there. Lavrio Silver Mine. So it's a silver mine. I don't know if that's considered a quarry. I'm assuming not. Um, I'm fairly certain a mine and a quarry are quite different, but... Hmm. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and just synchronize here first, and then we'll uh, go about clearing out some of these places. Yeah... Who the hell is this guy? What the fuck was that? <laughs> that was the most janky side roll ever. Well, good for him though. He must be working on it or something. Maybe he's trying to be a um, stuntman. Sorry, I read this- I read that as the Tower of Sauron, and I got overly excited. But no, it is- it is not, unfortunately, the Tower of Sauron. Though, maybe it has the potential to become the Tower of Sauron, possibly? Never know, right? It's good to have goals, and if this, um, tower wants to one day become the Tower of Sauron, who am I to say no, right? You do you, tower, you do you, and you be a happy little tower there. Okay, there's some stuff to loot, but not really all that important, so... Whatever. So fucking lootly breathtaking as usual. Fantastic. All right. So let's go ahead and whoa, Bobcat. Hello, Bobcat. That's right, Bobcat. Ain't nobody gonna save me now, bitch. Fantastic. Got something to say, Bobcat? Got something to say? Yeah, you dead, son. You very dead. All right. Um, what was I gonna say? So as I was saying. <laughs> Uh, we did clear out the quarry here, but we didn't find any more clues about the um, last cultist that we don't know about here. Cultist owns a quarry and a slave operation in Attica. Help people nearby. Hmm. So I'm thinking either we need to reinvestigate the quarry area here, or maybe something in here might inspire us to uh, take action. Possibly. Now, we could go after Mithas, I believe, um, who is a known cultist, but I believe he's on a different um, place altogether. So maybe we should hold off on that for the time being. And I guess I could actually clear out these places in between episodes, but eh, why not? Why not? We've had a lot of uh, talkity talk in the um, last few episodes, so let's just have some fun and uh, blast people in the ass. Now, if I could do it... At night, that would be better, but 
I suppose it's not the end of the world if I just go on a complete and utter rampage and just annihilate everyone and their dicks. Can I possibly get someone's attention? Hello, sir. Right over here, my good man. Right over here. Okay, that guy with a beard. I don't think we need to worry about him too much. Hmm. What? Did that guy not notice? He did not notice. <laughs> it's his beard hair. It's getting in, in the uh, way of his eyes. Fantastic. Alright, well, good for you, buddy. Good for you. Way to, way to turn a blind eye. Maybe he just wanted to um, ignore the uh, what happened there. He was like, oh no, you know what? You did not see that. That did not happen. Just walk away. Walk away and everything will be fine. Of course, everything was not fine. But you know what? It's fine for me. Hey, buddy. Yeah, that's right. This is our little corpse bush. <laughs> corpse bush. That sounds like the uh, name of a great metal band. Heavy metal. <laughs> Burning in the corpse bush. <laughs> I don't know why the corpse bush is burning, but eh. Oh shit. Uh, oops. My bad. Sorry, dude. And you know what else I've noticed? Is that uh, you can actually kill people using poison, and I believe it doesn't actually count towards your murderage. So let me try it out with this guy. Get him within an inch, within an inch of his life, and then just let the uh, poison take over. Or I don't know, possibly. Though he looks like he's uh, the poison has worn off. Okay, well let's do it against the big guy then. Come on, man. What the hell do you think you're doing? All right, big boy McGee. That's right. Get poison, son. Nice. Oh, damn it. Okay, you know what? That counted towards me. Which is unfortunate. But wait, he was the bounty sponsor? <laughs> nice. Perfect. That worked out perfectly. Got a bounty and then I immediately cleared it by killing the dude who was uh, sponsoring the bounty. Wait. How the fuck did he spawn to the bounty whilst he was in combat with me? Oh shit. It's a fucking uh, leopard. Good grief. I'm trying to help you out here, you stupid son of a bitch. Clong my dick out. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Now I'm almost dead. You happy now, stupid leopard? You happy? Rat bastard. Alright, where is the war supply that we need to burninate? Ah, there we go. Okay, you know what else I discovered? Something cool. You, in fact, don't need to set... Yeah, that's right. We can just use our lit um, arrow to just burn it without having to, you know, actually smash it and stuff. What about this guy? Hey, you want to be, you want to be burned? You want to be burned, you little shit? So, hiding in the bushes with a flaming arrow is uh, a bad idea, unfortunately. What the hell? There you go, you stupid sack of crap. That's right, eat shit, you little scum sucker. All right, you're almost dead now, bitch. Fantastic. All right, so we've cleared out Thorikos military camp. Let's go over to the silver mine. Um, though I do have my doubts as to whether or not the silver mine is in fact the quote-unquote quarry. There's, a po there's supposedly a slave operation that we um, need to go help people out in as well. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe we need to find both? Hmm. Alright. What's this now? Okay, sure. Bounty on a mercenary. Risos. Or whatever. A bounty on bandits? Sure, we'll take all of them. We might not actually do them, but... What do you want, miss? Something? Cursed bandits made off with all the drachmi for my play. How am I to pay for the scene decorations now? So you want me to give you some drachmi? Exactly, my friend. That's it? Okay. Take this. <laughs> Wait, that was it? Okay. <laughs> and we got some experience points for it. <laughs> she was basically begging for money and we gave it to her. What the fuck? <laughs> What happened here? 
Hey, you've been freed. Get out of here. Yeah, maybe you can. Wait, is this isn't the slave operation though, is it? Though that certainly did look kind of slavey ish. Hmm. Not quite sure how to get the hint or how to follow through with a clue. I'm assuming um, it's actually the quarry and we just somehow missed it, but I could be wrong. In the meantime, let's go ahead and just clear out this uh, quarry. Though, I don't know, I'm still a little unsure as to how... I mean, if I were just playing this, it would be completely fine. I'd just do whatever the hell I, you know, thought was uh, the next step to go through. But recording it makes it a little challenging because I need to kind of make sure that we're progressing the right way. Otherwise, um, you know, I'll end up uh, backtracking and I don't think people want to watch me backtrack. Again, personally, I don't mind as much. Because I'm just that kind of person who doesn't mind, um, I guess, slightly grindier uh, parts of games. But uh, I know people don't want to watch me grind, as it were. Alright. Treasure here and there. I'm assuming these are just uh, Athenians, right? They're not um, cultists or anything? Maybe I need to find a quarry with cultists. Maybe that's what we need to find. Quite possible, isn't it? Right, there's some treasure over there, and treasure inside of the mine, which makes a lot of sense. Anything else? Doesn't seem like it. Though, so let's watch out for soldiers that we may not have potentially discovered. Okay. So I'm going to occasionally do the old uh, sweeping thing to make sure that we're not missing any uh, soldiers from Look, our tagging. All that silver. So this is how Athens got so rich. I mean, I'm sure that's one of the reasons. Hmm. There's a marksman there. Interesting. And it's Oh, right. Ability points. Thank you for the reminder, game. I forgot. Yeah, in between episodes, I leveled up a few more times. Of course. When don't I? Um, what do we want to go with? Um... Hmm... Not Sparta kick. Multi shot? Sure, I guess. I don't really have anything else to spend my points on. And you know what? Let's get Beastmaster. Oh, so you can upgrade it that way. Interesting. Or we can <gasps> we can tame a bear. Wow wow wee wow. Alright. Well, let's keep an eye out for that. So I can tame lions and shit too now. Although, let's face it, bears decidedly not that powerful. They're so fucking slow, and their, um, you know, uh, ability to hit is absolute garbage, so I wouldn't really want to get a bear as a, uh, pet. A leopard, certainly. A lynx, possibly. Maybe even a lion, but probably not a bear, I would assume. Unless maybe taming the bear, uh, makes them much, much better. But I think, um, since my playstyle is decidedly geared more towards, uh, stealth, I feel like maybe there would not be a uh, good idea to go with for someone as stealthy as me. Decorated Thrakian helmet. Alright, doesn't look like there's a lot of dudes outside in the, uh, mines now. But, I'm just gonna do my due diligence and make sure that everyone is dead, just so that we don't get, um, accidentally discovered like this. But thankfully, <laughs> nice. We made it in time. Why the hell would he just suddenly turn around like that? That is completely unacceptable. Good grief, this guy. No regard for other people. Well, I'm glad he's dead now. So that solves our problem. Let's go get this guy because he's currently uh, patrolling. Yes, my good man. Keep your little torch. So that I may annihilate you. Fantastic. Right now, we go for the old marksman. Alright, marksman. Did I just... That's great. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so he's got his back towards this place. Fantastic. Nice! I thought we might not be able to do enough damage to kill him in one fell swoop, but we did. And we can, of course, use our... Um, our uh, fire arrow to uh, light the place up, which is pretty damn fucking cool. I guess that's a bit of a 
fairly common feature among video games now, but still, still cool in my eyes. Alright, I think we've basically cleared out the entire camp of uh, soldiers, so we don't need to worry about being detected out here. Inside the mine is probably a different uh, story. Yeah, I think the majority- oh shit, there's uh, one dude out here. Yeah, inside the mine, I think, is a definitely different story. I think the majority of the troops are actually inside there to begin with. Though, maybe I'm wrong? I'm not seeing a lot of uh, outlines or silhouettes. So perhaps I am incorrect in this regard. No, 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 we're just too far away to uh, see them. Got it. Okay, any more plinkety plonks? Nope, no more plinkety plonks. That guy is not facing towards us. Okay, good. Alright, bitch. Shh. It's okay. Just let it happen. Fantastic. Alright, so he might discover the dead body if he comes too close. Let's let him actually discover it and then we'll um, jump down and uh, completely annihilate his life. Or, or not. Or I guess he's gonna go up there. Uh, I guess that works too. Sure, why not? Alright, marksman friend. Get wrecked, son. What? Oh, I see. Oh, they're different locations. There's the um, area outside of the mine, and then there's the area inside of the mine. Interesting. Didn't figure that was the uh, gonna be the case, but oh well. All right, so nothing above, just stuff below. Great, let's do that. Just jump down, Cassandra. You don't need to like take precautions jumping down. You don't take uh, falling damage anyways. Go for one of these and one of these. Fantastic. Yes, come to me, precious metals. Come to me. Wait, is that another marksman with his back towards us? There's a lot of marksmen in this place. Oops, my bad. Sorry. Sorry, good sir. My bad. Let me uh, finish the job for you there. Nope, not today, punk. Dumbass. You should have just died. Ah. But it's good to know that there's a lot of marksmen here. Because um, I often get weekly quests and whatnot that uh, require me to annihilate 50 million uh, marksmen and they're notoriously difficult to find unless you kind of know where you're uh, where you're or what you're where to look okay are those nope those are not in fact glowing uh, rocks but just mushrooms shit uh nobody a cultist <gasps> a cultist clues nearby oh maybe this is the right place oh shit Alright, we're gonna get the uh, drop on this guy. I'm gonna attack him from where he never expects me. Fantastic. Alright, you. Okay, move my fucking camera. Hello? Let me move my fucking camera. Unbelievable, there we go. I don't know why it wouldn't go up and down. You're dead, friend. How does that feel? I mean, he can't really answer me because he's dead. Why is the camera doing this? Camera's all janky right now. Okay, it's working a little bit. There we go. I think it seems to have um, unconstipated itself because it seemed like it was definitely constipated for a little while there. All right. Could this be the cultist clue? Maybe it's stuff inside of this iron ore. Nope, it was not. What about ah? Uh, damn it, Cassandra! I thought you could uh, make that jump, but sadly, I had overestimated your abilities. You know, not to say that you're any less capable, but I thought you could do it, is what I'm trying to say here. Okay, can you... Or, you know, I guess that works too, sure. Whatever gets you uh, down, I suppose. Okay, thank you. I feel like the movement's still really janky. I don't quite understand what happened here. But something seems to have uh, bugged Cassandra somewhat. Whoa! It's the Ark of the Covenant! With Romulus and Remus, what the? Agamemnon's gauntlets, what? The hell? Holy crap, holy. I thought I need to kill that guy in order to get the uh, thing. Who is this? Slavery is natural, it is necessary. The silver griffin, the silver vein. 
Under Cosmos, there was a unique man known as a Silver Griffin. Unique is not for his cruelty, but for his ability to make others carry out his cruel will. Those who knew him said he considered himself a teacher of all things. He taught to control slavers and to slaves he taught submission. His tool in both classes was the same, the fear of death. Where does he reside? Let's kill this bitch. Where the fuck is he? Mm, not him. And not that guy either. Nope, that's Mithas. Where the fuck is the slaver guy? Not him. Lemnos? Not that one. The Silver Griffin. What? Oh, and my Adrestia is right next to him. Okay. Let's annihilate him after we, uh, we complete this area. Um, let me get some of that sweet, sweet loot. And what else? Did I see some bats? Oh, that's incredible. We just saw some bats. Alright. Oh, I guess it's uh, below us. Alright, cool. Thank you, Cassandra. Awesome. Alright, I think just a little bit left there. Ah, some arrows and such, I suppose. Eh, whatever. It's fine. We'll take that. So, how come I got the um, thing of Agamemnon? Isn't that part of the Agamemnon line? I thought that was part of the other uh, branch here. Sorry. Uh, let me show you guys. I thought it was part of this branch. Oh! Huh. I actually don't know... Oh, right, because he died um, due to uh, Themos um, uh, killing him. Um, we didn't actually get anything from that guy. Right! Oh, shit. So this guy still remains undiscovered. Fuck me. Okay. So that wasn't the same dude. Dang nabbit. Damn, damn, damnity damn. Right, you know what? Screw that iron ore. I don't need that shit. She she looks like she's running really jankily. I like I there's something off about her movement right now. I'm hoping that, that maybe this will reset things. No. No, she still looks like she's uh jank running, it seems. Hmm. I might need to actually reset the, or restart the game or something. Yeah, I should probably remember to do that in between episodes. Well, anyways. We are out of the silver mine. Okay. She's running a little bit better now. Yeah, definitely. Okay, she seems to have recovered from her jank movement, it seems. And this place is completely empty, right? So how can we still have these things? There you go. Not that I'm complaining, and not that I actually want to see, um... Uh, Athens' national power go down, but, hmm. Still no sight of the uh, cultist uh, that owns the quarry and such. Hmm. Alright, well, let me go ahead and kill these bandits, because we have a mission for that. Then we'll probably kill those bandits, maybe go up back to the uh, mission over there. And then do that, possibly? Yeah, I apologize if this, um... If, you know, this is a little bit of a, uh, s less story-intense, um, part of the, uh, series. Um, but I'm just trying to make sure that everything gets cleared up as much as possible. It's difficult for me to really gauge when and, uh, what I should and shouldn't, um, record. I guess maybe I could ask you guys what- Oh my god! What would you like to see? Um, like if you don't mind me killing the cultists in between episodes or whatever, then maybe it might not be a bad idea? Because the killing of the cultists isn't exactly very story heavy. It's not like the uh, previous Assassin's Creed games where, um, though I'm kind of wondering if maybe... Because there's a different tier of cultists, right? Like there's the um, lower dudes and then there's the sages or whatever. Were supposedly more powerful and whatnot. Hey, bandits, you must die. Is that guy sleeping through the first part of the a fight? He totally was. Poor bastard. I say poor bastard, but, um, you know, not really. Alright, you're dead too. Merry Christmas. What? You're the one that's backing up, man. I fight like a what? I fight like a what? Say it. 
What do I fight like? Huh? What do I fight like? You can't say it now, can you? Because you're dead. Like a little bitch. How does that sound? Dick. Alright, I think we have everything that we need. Sweet. Alright, so let's move up north. Do this other bounty on the bandits, and it seems that we have a bounty on a mercenary, so we might as well try to do that in this episode. You are not Rodney. Get away from me, alright? Only Rodney can grace these soft and supple areas in between my thighs. That and Cassandra's various lovers. I guess they can also um, grace our soft and supple thighs. Alright, up north to more bandits. Whoa! Seems to be some high-speed chase going on in the... Um, Dangerous open seas of Greece. Seems like a um, Athenian trireme is trying to blast a uh, Spartan byreme, possibly, in the ass. Though not that well. And there's a, an even bigger um, uh, Spartan uh, ship on the or like right next to them. I would stay to watch to see who wins, but it's probably gonna drag on for like 50 million years. Because the AI is, unfortunately, not that great at fighting each other. They're great at killing me, though. For sure. But, uh, they're not so great at, um, killing each other, it seems. For whatever reason. Maybe it's just because they don't actually want to fight each other. Maybe it's, like, one of those cases where two dudes are like, Yo, yo, come at me, bro. Come at me. And they're all just, like, fucking tearing off their shirts and, like, yelling at the top of their, uh, voices. And putting on strange accents that they don't normally have. Just to, like, um, I guess, um, peacock for each other or whatever. Get off me! Get off me! Get off! Get off! Alright. But anyways, um, but they don't actually want to fight each other because they're both, uh, fucking wusses. Okay. Are the bandits coming after me? Or the... You know what? Bandits? Go after the, uh, wildcats, or the bobcats, rather. Or not. I guess, you know, coming after me also works. I suppose. How dare you poison me, you dumb son of- You son of 50 million bitches! This is how you die. I hope that was worth it, ass bag. Alright, Oh, Looks like the bandit camp is actually under siege. Um, by other wild animals? That's actually pretty hilarious. Good sir. There you go. You're free! Go free! My man! Yes, you are! You're free once more! These guys living with bones and shit? What the fuck? Oh, shit, you know what? Uh, let me see if perhaps... Yes. The lynx I don't really want. Though the lynx can claw out, uh, out eyeballs and such, which is fairly useful. But what I really want is... El Leon. Oh, shit. Fantastic. What the dicks? Don't aim at the fucking uh, ram. The ram's not trying to kill you, Cassandra. All right. There we go. No! The poison. It was too powerful. It, it killed my potential pet lion. No! <laughs> Dang, Nabbit. I should have just let the poison run its course. Ah, Shiatsu massage. Alright, well, whatever. <laughs> okay, Kiros the Master has not moved from his uh, location here. Kiros was the head of a Spartan platoon when his whole squad was attacked by an unseen force. He managed to escape from danger, but rumors pointed towards a plan calculated to neutralize those who knew his terrible secret, though no record of it exists. Alright, that's cool. I guess. Um, Rodney? Thank you. Alright, Rodney, keep an eye out for uh, lions. If you can find one and uh, tame one, that'd be great. Or, I guess, maybe a leopard? Or a panther might be better? Is it a leopard or a panther? I think it's a leopard in this part of the world. Unless I'm mistaken. Or maybe they're the same. I'm I'm always confused about um, whether something is a leopard or a panther. Like, I'm just walking down the street and then I see someone with, like... A dog um, on a leash, and that I often wonder is that a leopard or a panther? Happens to me all the time. I don't know about you guys, but uh, it's a big problem for me at least. 
All right, well, this guy does not seem to be moving for whatever reason, so that's advantageous. Let's go ahead and uh, blast him in the ass, and I think we'll call that an episode. And, um, hmm, I think next episode, let's go for the ancient um, tomb and also the uh, temple that's uh, north west of uh, Athens and then we'll probably get started on the story quest and whatnot again though because I don't here's the thing I have zero problem wait that's not true I have the reason why I'm <laughs> sorry uh, the reason why I'm hesitant about um, going around uh, killing the cultists as we discover them is because I recently learned that, um, you know, what with the quest that we failed before, that it's actually possible for me to accidentally complete a quest before I even have it. So I kind of don't want that to happen. I want to um, do the quests as they're meant to be done, because, you know, Heroes the Master, you're dead. Merry Christmas. Did that not count as a murder? I guess people don't mind if I go around killing mercenaries. Fantastic. Yeah, baby! Alright, well, uh, let's end the episode off for now. We'll come back tomorrow and then we'll head on up to uh, northwest toward the temple. I might actually just um, start the next episode there. Yeah, might be a good idea. We have some minor quests to accomplish as well. Actually, you know what, let me go back into this quarry and then see if I missed anything. Um, and if I do find something, then we'll, uh, then you guys will know in the next episode. But, um, sorry, I was explaining why. Yeah, I don't want to miss out on any quest, is why I don't want to go after the occultists, like, right off the bat. I don't know, maybe it's... Ah, uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Well, whatever, it's fine. It's my dilemma and not yours, alright? So for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!